What is up guys? California Phantom on location here at the always beautiful Bartholomew Park. Here to answer the burning question, the DJI Avada props. This episode's brought to you by Master Airscrew and Adventure. I purchased always my DJI products through Adventure. So Adventure.com, you want to check those guys out. Master Airscrew sent me some propellers to do the all important propeller test with the Avada to see once and for all how do these affect the DJI Avada? Are they gonna improve the flight time? And are they quieter than the stock propellers? Let's get to it. So the rules of this is quite simple. We're gonna use the always important decibel reader. We're gonna measure the decibel sound from the stock propellers. We're gonna do a hover test on four equally charged batteries. We're gonna do a test on the decibel reading as far as the hover time. We're gonna do it to a natural, I believe it's 15% um, and then an auto return. So we're just gonna keep it in the air as long as possible until the warning, set it down, compare times, let's do it. So we're running into a little bit of a complication here. I only have one cell phone on me. For whatever reason, DJI requires that you connect your cell phone to the Avada and the app running the entire time. So I am not able to run a physical timer. We're gonna have to put a timer in the editing, the magic of editing and we're gonna have to make the determine the determination at the end to find the winner but I can do a decibel reading we'll talk about that during but we got to get this thing started so let's begin all right so we got it about four feet up get it in frame a little bit all right, then we're gonna do the decibel reading. Whoa, come on. I have to stick here holding the stick input. So. Don't fall out of the sky. All right, so we have a maximum decibel reading at about 88.4 is the max reading. Don't fly away either. <laughs> we got about 88.4 on the stock propellers. So at this point, we're just waiting for it to automatically land and uh, we'll compare and contrast the times uh, through the editing software. All right, so we just had RTH. Wind has been kind of funky. Everything's really funky about this day. A little cloudy, a um, little bit of wind, a couple of miles an hour off and on. So um, obviously this is not gonna be a perfect test, but I tried to make it as balanced as possible. So we're gonna flip these um, propellers out and um, we're gonna try the master air screw next. All right, so first up, four blade master air screw props. We're gonna take a particular close look at the decibel reading, get you those final numbers, compare and contrast. Let's go. They sound noticeably quieter. I would like to point out the Master Air Screw included machine screws. They're much higher quality than the ones that came with DJI. It's gonna be a continual take. First, we wanna get the decibel reading on this guy here. Sounds different, that's for damn sure. Okay, we got 82.9. 82.9 on this decibel reading on the four blade uh, master air screw props. So that's a noticeable difference. Couple of, couple of decibels, but um, seems like the drone is struggling less. It def it, it does make a different audible noise. I don't know if you guys can pick that up. Uh, maybe I'll get a little closer so you guys can see. But it's a, uh, only way I can describe it, it's a little more whiny, a little bit higher pitched. 
Um, debatable on you guys whether or not uh, you find this more pleasant or less, but leave your comments down below. I always love hearing from you guys. All right, we have auto land. So we're gonna have to, again, run back the notes on that. I'll display it in here somewhere maybe, or do a separate split screen of the final times on this one. But it appeared longer, but you know, relative to no timer, thanks to the remote ID requirement of having your cell phone hooked to the Avada. I, I won't know until I get home. So um, let's switch out the final uh, Master Air Screw props for the three blade, which in my opinion should perform the best for hover. I don't necessarily, sh I'm not sure about the sound, but my, my, my guess is that the sound will probably be the worst, but the hover time will be the best. That's just my opinion, let's get to it. Now we're back with the last test, which is the three blade Master Air Screw. A little bit different, look a little funky compared to some of the other Avada propellers. I have high hopes for these. One might say it's a bias, but um, I have not tried them at all, so I really have no idea. They could completely suck, but we're about to find out, so you don't have to waste your money. Uh, let's, let's begin. Sounds a lot different. Interesting. So let's get a reading. Get a reading here. Ooh, 81, 81.5, and we actually have a little bit of a wind. Um, I don't know if you can see it, but 81 and a half decibels in the wind. That's truly impressive. Um, I'm curious to see what the overall flight time will be. Um, I'll have to check back in through the magic of editing. All right, so let's begin the landing sequence now, out of my control. All right, that's the master air screw props. Some interesting findings here. The three props were the quietest. Um, I'll put the final results somewhere in this, this section here. Um, three props, master air screw significantly quieter than the four prop from that master air screw, which is uh, slightly quieter than OEM props. So all across the board, I'm impressed, but let's get down to the hover final times. And we're back in the headquarters in my office. Let's review some numbers real quick. So starting off with the OEM blades from DJI, we had a final flight time of 12 minutes, 41 seconds followed by the four blade master air screw system, which came in at an impressive 16 minutes and 34 seconds. Uh, rounding the final blade system, the three blade master air screw came in at 16 minutes, 28 seconds. So the findings in my opinion are conclusive. The master air screw outperformed the DJI OEM propellers, both the three blade system and the four blade system, master air screw outperforming the decibel reading makes it a much more quieter, pleasing drone to hear, and it also increases your loiter time. To get three and a half, four minutes of additional flight time coming from an FPV drone is very impressive. I know we're used to getting 35 or 40 minutes with these cinematic drones, but FPV drones, completely different world. If you're able to get 15 minutes, it's great. So to be able to add, you know, three and a half minutes to that with these master air screw props, Hats off to them. They've been making great products for years. It's why I use Master Air Screw on all of my drones. And that's pretty much it, guys. If you found this informative, please hit that like, subscribe. If you haven't already, drop me a comment down below letting me know if you're going to get some Master Air Screw props. And we will catch you on the next adventure.